Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're going to understand a little bit more about the Wi-Fi in your home or small business router, change its name and password, and look at 20 of my favourite Wi-Fi names. Last week I stepped you through the process of finding the login page of your router and logging you in. If you need some help with that you can find a link to the video up here. Now that we're here let's change things, make them a bit more unique and personal. Or if it's a business router, a bit more business like. Nothing says I don't care about my IT like a Wi-Fi name of Optus 47823 or Telstra 2D4F or Linksys 12874. Let's give it a name that reflects the business or the home's personality. Before we configure Wi-Fi though, there's a few things we need to learn about it. There's been many iterations of the Wi-Fi standard since it was released in 1997, and they've all got weird names relating to the 802.11 specification that they're based on. The releases were named A, B, G, N, AC, and AX. Because of the confusion this has led to, they've now been retrospectively renamed Wi-Fi 1 through to Wi-Fi 6 much more useful and user-friendly. All the consumer Wi-Fi specifications live in two separate sets of bandwidth, some in the 2.4 GHz spectrum and some in the 5 GHz spectrum. So what's the difference between Wi-Fi at 2.4 GHz and Wi-Fi at 5 GHz? And do I even care? 2.4 GHz is the lower frequency spectrum with longer range but slower speeds. It's used by 802.11b, g, and n. It's also a bunch of spectrum that is fairly heavily crowded with things like portable phones, garage door openers, and even interference from your microwave oven. The 5 gigahertz spectrum is faster, but has a lesser range. It's also used by 802.11n plus a and ac. The new ax uses 5 gigahertz and up even into the 6 gigahertz spectrum for Wi-Fi 6. Configuration is different for every different wireless router. Even routers supplied by the same company will have changed interfaces as new models appear over time. To customize wireless settings, you'll want to look for a button that says something along the lines of wireless settings, Wi-Fi, wireless setup, express setup, something like that. If your router tends towards the big button look, it might say just Wi-Fi or even have some version of the antenna symbol. My router has a little settings cog in the top corner of both of the Wi-Fi boxes, although they both go to the same page. Once you've found the right page, you can change the broadcast name of your wireless network, technically known as its SSID or Service Set Identifier. That's why you don't let engineers name things. This is the name that you see on your wireless client devices. My router will let me give different names to both the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz spectrums. Yours may not. This older router is 2.4 GHz only, so only has one name to change. Changing the SSID is as simple as typing in the new name and then pressing OK, Save or Apply or something similar to that. The page will refresh and the new name will be active. Unfortunately at this point all current wireless users will be disconnected and have to re-authenticate using the new SSID. While you're here, you may want to change the password associated with your Wi-Fi to something a little more memorable. This is usually done on the same screen, somewhere down towards the bottom. The only stipulation for the password is that it has to be between 8 and 63 characters. Once you've changed it, press the OK, Save, Apply button and the page will refresh and the new password will be ready. Again, if you're connected via Wi-Fi, you will have to reconnect with the new password. At this point is probably a good time to plug my network configuration template that you can download from up here and record your Wi-Fi name and password in case you forget it. There is a way to skip the password altogether. A button called WPS on the router that when pressed will allow any device that connects within the next one to two minutes to connect automatically without using a password. Really handy if somebody's popped over and you just want them to be able to connect. If you happen to be logged in to the router interface, there's often a button that looks like this that you can actually click in the software that will do exactly the same thing as pushing the button on the router. Your mileage might vary with WPS. Sometimes I've had it work, other times it just doesn't want to know about it. 
I personally prefer to use the password just because that's what I'm used to. Before I finish, I wanted to run through a list of 21 of my favorite wireless network names. If you Google funny Wi-Fi names or funny wireless names, you will find thousands more. But here's a few that I really like. Get off my LAN. Winternet is coming. Mum, use this one. Hidden network. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, wi, fi. I'm not gonna sing it. Definitely not an FBI surveillance van. Covet not thy neighbor's Wi-Fi. All your bandwidth belong to us. 404, network unavailable. Test Wi-Fi, please ignore. Get your own damn Wi-Fi. No free Wi-Fi here. The password is 1234, which of course it can't be because we know it needs to be eight characters, but that's okay. Text and then your number for the password. Virus infected Wi-Fi. Virus.exe. Searching dot dot dot. Or loading dot dot dot. Area 51 test site. FBI surveillance van number four. Or my favorite being an Aussie, the land down under. You can name your network whatever you like. Make it fit your personality or your favorite TV show or whatever. Question of the day. Have you reset your wireless password? Let me know in the comments down below what it's called and give me a thumbs up if you like this episode. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys and repair it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. You can click on the Tech Doctor logo down here to subscribe to the channel and then click on the bell to be notified of all the new episodes as they come out. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.